start with the magic circle. And chain two. This chain two it won't be counted as a stitch. And for this whole pattern, the starting chain two it won't be counted as a stitch. Now make twelve double crochets in this circle. Once you're done, pull up this loop to close the gap. And stitch stitch on top of this first double crochet. Next round, start with chain two. This won't be counted as a stitch. Now make two double crochets in each and every stitch, and take this yarn and along with the working yarn. Once you're done, slip stitch on top of this first double crochet, and total you should have twenty-four stitches. Next round, start with chain two, one double crochet in the same stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, and repeat this all around. One double crochet, two double crochets. Once you reach then slip stitch on top of this first double crochet and total you should have 36 stitches. Next on start with chain 2, one double crochet each in the next two stitches. Start the next stitch in the same stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. That's one and two. And in the next stitch make an increase that's two double crochets. Now repeat this all around. One double crochet each in the next two stitches. Two double crochets in the next stitch. Once you reach the end, slip stitch on top of this first double crochet, and total you should have forty-eight stitches. Next round, start with chain two, one double crochet each in the next three stitches. Start the next stitch in the same stitch. And in the next stitch, make an increase. That's two double crochets. Now repeat this all around. One double crochet each in the next three stitches. And one increase. That's two double crochets. Once you reach the end, slip stitch on top of this first double crochet, and total you should have 60 stitches. This base measures around 5 inches. I'm stopping with the increase round. If you wish to make a bigger size basket, you can keep repeating this increase pattern. Next round, start with chain one. Now we'll be working only in the back loops. Make one back loop single crochet in each and every stitch. This will make the turning base for the basket. This is the back loop. Once you reach the end, slip stitch on top of this first single crochet, and make the stitch in both the loops. This is how it will look. Next round, start with chain one. Again, this won't be counted as a stitch. One long single crochet in this stitch. That is one spike stitch. To make this stitch, instead of inserting the hook in this stitch, you'll insert the hook in the previous round. This is the stitch. One stitch below the current stitch. Pull up a loop and finish the stitch. That's one long single crochet made. One single crochet in the next stitch. And now repeat this. One long single crochet in the next stitch. This is the current stitch. Just below the stitch, it is the previous round. One single crochet. 
once you reach the end slip stitch on top of the first single crochet the next round start with chain one now keep alternating the stitches with each and every round here you have a long single crochet so in this stitch you'll make a single crochet and the next stitch it will be a long single crochet this is just stitch and this is the previous round Now keep repeating this. This is how the stitch pattern will look. And once you reach the end, slip stitch on top of this first single crochet, and keep repeating this round until you reach the size which you need. So here in the next round, you'll start off with a long single crochet. Here you have a single crochet. So the stitch on this it would be long single crochet. This is how the basket will look. And this is the stitch pattern. Next round start with chain one. One reverse single crochet in this previous stitch. This is the stitch. This is how it will look. To end this round, slip stitch on top of this first single crochet and weave off your yarn. Start with the magic circle. And chain one. The chain one it won't be counted as a stitch. Now make six single crochets in the circle. Once you're done, pull up this loop to close the gap and slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. This one. And weave off your yarn. Make one more eye in the same way. Now, using a yarn needle, sew the eyes to the basket. I hope you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel, thank you for watching.